About nine years has passed since I made my first Hack Attack episode on this channel. And in that time, I've made 850 videos. Now, 30% of those or more have something to do with portable musical hardware gear. And this includes MIDI controllers, sound interfaces, mixers, hardware synthesizers, drum machines, samplers, and more. And whenever I publish a video that has something to do with a hardware synth or a sampler or a drum machine, I get asked why. Why, Jakob, should I get this hardware thing that costs this much when I can get so much more on iOS for less money? And it is a good question, because there is no disputing now that everything you want to do, everything you want to produce, draw and or edit or record, make videos, whatever you want to do, it can all be done inside the box. If you're working with smart tablets such as an iPad or even an iPhone, you can do it all with these devices now. And you know what? I am. I have been doing it for the past nine years. My channel is a testament to what can be done with just these devices. All of that content, those 850 videos I mentioned, well, I made them all right here on iDevices such as the iPad and iPhone. So why? Why the need for hardware? Why even get into it? Or in my case, why even start getting hardware again when I can clearly do everything with just software? For me, the answer comes in two parts. Number one, sometimes I like the feeling of actual physical controls in between my fingers. I just like pushing buttons, sliding a fader or twisting a knob. Oi, you Brits in the back can stop laughing at that. Now, this can be added through a MIDI controller if you want that experience with an iPad or an iPhone. And if you want it to be simple without having to add a bunch of dongles and or USB hubs or cables or anything, you could select a MIDI controller that can connect over Bluetooth the way I have. There is a problem though. You have to do mapping. Sometimes you have MIDI learn and then it's easy, but that also means that you have to go through all of the knobs and set that up. You only have to do it once, but you have to do this with every app you want to use. And some apps don't have MIDI learn. They have a default MIDI implementation list, which you have to then feed into your MIDI controller. And now it starts getting really, really rowdy here. And it really kills inspiration because it can take hours just to edit a MIDI controller. And in some cases you can't even edit your MIDI controller through an iPad. Well, actually, in most cases, you have to use a laptop connected to that and then do it. Not only that, even if you get to map everything, if you have MIDI Learn and you have a Bluetooth MIDI controller, the layout of your MIDI controller usually never really reflects the layout of the actual plugin you're using, whether it is a compression plugin or a synthesizer plugin or a drum machine. And so that is also a thing that annoys me a lot of the time. Number two, when I want a Juno style synth, you know what's really nice? Grabbing a Juno style synth, turning it on and having it be nothing else but that synth. It has dedicated knobs, faders, buttons, keys. Well, in this case, you have to buy the keypad, but it has a workflow, a workflow you can learn, something you can understand quickly. You're not working with floaty windows here. It is a very different situation, a different feeling than working with software. This is the reason why I keep mixing it up, why I can't completely let go of hardware. I want that tactile experience that is more bumpy than a flat surface sometimes. And don't misunderstand me. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I'm absolutely in love with the touch interface of the iPads and iPhones. It's why I've kept using just these devices to do all of my production on for the past 10 years now. But just because I love one thing does not mean that I hate another. And if you're one of those people thinking like that, stop it. Get some help. But seriously, don't just dismiss hardware simply because you can do everything within the box. 
Hey, bro, you talk about bumpy tactile experiences and then you show these synthesizers with flat induction type keyboard. Shut up, okay? Just shut up and uh, let me explain. The thing is, we're moving on. Next up, wait, what? Uh, let me fix that. Ah, ah, silly goose. Now, one aspect we have not talked about is this thing with analog versus digital. And I don't care whether something sounds better or worse, if it's better to use uh, hardware analog gear or digital <coughs> versus software. I really don't care. What I like using, what I like listening to changes with my mood. And I'm a very moody person. You see, one day I'll listen to a bunch of chip tunes. The other day I'll listen to something with a higher production value. And it really doesn't matter to me. Whatever sounds good to me, I end up liking. Whatever sounds good to me, I'll end up using. And I think you should do the same thing. Don't spend too much time on forums with audio files, dropping keyboard warrior bombs over each other, trying to tell each other that they're wrong or right about analog versus digital, how you can do this and that. Whatever works for you, works for you. Oh, I'm so tired of these stupid discussions. Well, that's my opinion. And I'm sure that you have a bunch to say about this. Maybe you're one of those people who just use hardware stuff and you swear by it. And maybe you're one of those people who just use software or maybe you're in between or maybe you don't buy anything. You just use whatever you find. If that's the case, I'm really interested in hearing what you have to say. So just type out your thoughts down in the comment section. Now, before you leave, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And if you want to help supporting the uh, work I do here on the channel, why don't you give me a thumbs up? And if you don't want to support the work I do here on the channel, just give me a thumbs up. And if you want to support me in any other ways, you have these links here. And that's all I have to say for now. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Finger it good, yeah, finger. Finger, yeah, finger good. Good finger. Good finger, good. Finger, good finger, yeah, good finger. Good finger, yeah, good finger, yeah. Yeah, good finger. Finger good, yeah, finger, finger good. Finger good, yeah.